Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to change audio levels, fade audio in and out using audio keyframes, and use denoise. Let's start by turning down the volume of the music I have under my video. Going to the music here, you can click grab the big line that's going across the music clip and drag it downwards. We can lower the clip by a few decibels. A decibel is a unit used to measure the intensity of a sound. The less decibels, the less volume you have. Now let's edit our music to fade in and fade out since that's a common thing to want to do with your music for your video. A fade is a gradual increase or decrease in the level of an audio signal. By moving your cursor to the left side of the song here, you'll see this small white tab. We can click and drag this to the right to have our song fade in easily. The same can be done at the end. There's a more detailed way to do this as well. Let's click the clip and move up here to adjust the fade in and fade out. You can choose the exact amount of time you want the fade to be right here. Another slider located here is pitch. This will let you slide it to change the pitch of your sound to be in a different key. You can use this to make sound lower or higher, but not louder or quieter. An equalizer, also known as EQ, can be set to the type of music in your video. EQ is changing the frequencies in your music to sound hopefully how that piece of music should sound. You can also edit the EQ in detail here. I'll leave my sound without one for now. Denoise can be used to get rid of that background noise that's messing with your audio that sounds like this. Hey guys, this is an example of a sound clip. I'll set my denoise to mid. Here's what it sounds like now. Hey guys, this is an example of a sound clip. Keep in mind, doing this to your audio could alter the way voices or anything else sounds in your video. So if you think your sound isn't exactly right, then maybe try to turn the slider down a little bit. Now back to our music. Let's try making the music a little louder when the title comes on screen. On the left side of the screen here, you can change the audio channel your sound is playing out of by dragging this to L or R. This stands for left and right channel. If you're wearing headphones, for instance, and turn this to L, sound will only play out of one side of the headphones, the left side. Last but not least, let's try using audio keyframes. A keyframe is a marker that indicates the changes in any element you're working with. In our case, the small dots will indicate the rise and fall of the volume and can be fine-tuned with perfect detail using keyframes. Clicking this button here will add a keyframe to our sound clip where I have my playhead located. If I move my playhead further into the clip and click this dot again, I'll place another keyframe. Then one last time, I'll move near the end of the clip and add another. Now it's time to adjust them. By clicking this arrow, we can go to the next keyframe, and by dragging this slider, you can choose where the volume will be at that time. Then I can move on to the last keyframe and adjust that as well. Now we have a rise and fall in volume. If you want to, you can adjust the keyframes by just clicking and dragging them to the volume you prefer. Now that we have our keyframes set and our sound is how we want it, we are done editing our music. Let's look at one more thing. If you put footage in your timeline that has sound, you can double click it and then click audio to edit the sound. Or you can right click and select detach audio to work with the audio on its own. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.